Welcome back to the show, guys. I'm your host, Valentine, expecting you guys to have a wonderful and blessed day. On today's show, we're going to be talking about this. Just look how this reads. Tell me how insane that reads right there. Minneapolis council members who voted to abolish cops get private security. On one side, they are voting to banish cops, to abolish cops, to defund cops. Yet they have private security. Anybody will vote like that if, they, if you have private security. The, the stupidity that is called defund the police is only going to hurt black and brown communities the most, in my opinion, where there is high, very high crime rate. And the only people that sometimes probably won't even care about this is two type of people. First, pe first, rich people, they go forward, private security, and two, politicians who are going to have taxpayers pay for their private securities. Let's read a little bit here. This is thanks to the New York Post. Three members of the Minneapolis Council, City Council who voted to eliminate the local police force are being protected by a private security detail that costs taxpayers $4,500 a day. Let me read that again. Three members of the Minneapolis City Council who voted to eliminate the local police force are being protected by a private security detail that costs taxpayers $4,500 a day. Isn't that a bit hypocritical? I think that would be a lot hypocritical, to be honest. The news of the arrangement broke Friday, the same day the council voted 12-0 to abolish the Minneapolis Police Department in the wake of the killing of George Floyd. They're, they're, they're voting to abolish the police department while they have their own security detail on the low, right? As they say, right? My concern is the large numbers of white nationalists in our city and other threatening communications. I've been receiving council member Andrea Jenkins so Fox News adding that she had been asking for private security ever since she took office in 2018. Andre Jenkins right here. This is a biological man. I mean, you could tell, right? A biological man calls himself Andrea Jenkins. Hey, but to each his own. Okay. Uh, let's see what it says here. Also, she says that, says here, adding that she had been asking for private security ever since she took office in 2018. The city has spent 63000 on rent the cop or $63,000 on rent the cops for Jenkins and fellow council members Philip Cunningham and Alondra Cano during the last three weeks after the three said they had received threats. But you, you but abolish the police. You just voted to abolish the police. Why are you worried about threats? Inc incredible, man. I mean, the, 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 the liberal landscape, and, and it seems like logic has just run far far away from liberalism in the united states in 2020 remember that we are trying to make it to 1000 subscribers here on the channel and only with your help is that we're going to make it to 1000 subs how is that you ask valentine very easy first of all sharing is caring liking is caring and commenting is also caring believe it or not it tells the youtube algorithm that something's going on on the channel hence we need to promote the channel guys remember that we are doing our live show on friday i have edited the time the time is going to be now hold on to your horses the live calling show remember if you guys want to talk to me directly what what opportunity what what youtuber gives you the opportunity to call especially a small youtuber like me which if you call you're going to get through i want people to call to challenge me and let's talk about debate topics nice and uh, humanely, right? That time is going to be every Friday uh, every Friday at 8 p.m. Eastern. It's going to be about from 8 to 9, an hour-long show. See you there. God bless. Godspeed me, Valentine. I'm out.